All right. Let's so um, this talk was inspired by a developer I work with mentioned they were disappointed that Enum class was not type safe. And we talked about it. No, it is type safe. It just is weird and challenges your expectations from Enum if you've had that experience anywhere else in your life other than C and C++. So enumerated types are a set of name values. They might first show up in Pascal. I've heard. I was not programming then, but that's what I've heard. So one case is, you know, suits of, um, in a deck of cards. You have clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades. Those are all your options. Um, Booleans, those are enums as well. Um, and the kind of things that uh, enums ha have in some languages are things like ordinality. They might even have a count, um, could expose implementation as a bit string, or even have convergence to strings. Uh, like Java gives you all those kind of nice fancy features. And you might be tempted in, oh, I forgot. Here's a slide here about Swift. We don't have time to talk about it, but enums and Swift are super cool. Check them out in some different five minutes. Um, so in C++, you might be tempted to say, oh, I want to be able to count my enum. So I'll put a number of characters at the end of my characters in the cat in the hat. We have thing one, thing two, and cat, and number of characters. But wait a minute. There is no number of characters in that book. So when we write a switch case, we have switch for thing one, returns that character's name, thing two, uh, cat, cat in the hat. Oh, but wait, we have this number of characters. So we have to have a default case to make our compiler happy. And we'll just return question mark because hopefully that will never happen. Oh, but this will make us sad if we then later add another case, so um, please don't do this. Instead, do better. Use a library like betterenum, which will give you string conversion, counts, all that fancy stuff. Or if you want to be super wise, use wiseenum. Uh, although last time I checked about a year ago, it didn't work on um, MSVC, but the developer really would like help with someone with a MSVC compiler to get that working. Uh, maybe I'll try it next week when we switch to uh, 2019 at work. So. Moving on from that pet peeve, let's talk about a weird error. So if you have this case where you're passing the enum of uh, cat and hat characters, you have your case for thing one, thing two, and cat, MSVC will complain. It will say you don't have a return type. And so some developers put in something like this, return a question mark, and a comment. Oh, let's make MSVC happy. MSVC is right. And take this from me, I was a militant Mac user in the 90s, so if Roth is telling you Microsoft got it right, they are correct here. Because uh, this is not the only values that C can have, and the, this uh, your switch does not handle all returns. The reason for that is that when we have a normal enum, that can be, if any int can convert to that enum, that will fit in its storage. What is its storage? Well, uh, for enum, it's unspecified until C++17, and then uh, it does specify this where it is the bit field that can hold the biggest value. So in our case, cat is the biggest value of two, which means that it can hold, um, when we have our function below where we uh, return static cast of mom, which is three, that's okay. That can actually convert to a character, but dad, which is not in the book, and if dad is in the book, I'm sorry, I haven't read it in 15 years, that's undefined behavior. The reason is um, this enum can hold any value that is the bits necessary to hold cat. So it can hold 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1, which is mom, which is not in our enumerated values. So uh, this is actually the whole set of stuff you would need to have in your enum to not have Visual Studio complain. I'm not sure if it actually fully understands that, but 3 is a legitimate value of the characters in Cat in the Hat in this example. <laughs> and that's equivalent to this. These are the same. So let's get a little bit more interesting. Now if we declare a storage for the enum, uh, now it's int, it can hold any of those values. Now casting dad, which is now 42, that's okay. It can hold any values in int is a legitimate thing. So even though your switch has cat thing one and thing two, any values in int is legitimate and can actually exist in that enum. And this is also true for enum class. If you declare as int, and this is exactly the same as not declaring a storage, this is also an int. And basically what this means is that enums are not a closed set of values. Uh, enum class allows you, and this is an example on CPP reference, you can go look at that. It's really just a named number. And for enum class, it has some safety of not implicitly converting, but these are not the closed sets of values you might be used to in other languages. I have a theory about this. I was not programming at this age, so if anyone in the audience knows, correct me if I'm making stuff up. But in KNRC, there were no constants. So you would pound define the answer as 42 as a macro. Later, I think at some point in AT&T, pre-ANSI, now that we have enums, and they're just basically ways to name integers. 
And that's the only way you had in C to do a constant. And later, yes, uh, Bjarna helps us out. We now have constant, so we can say the answer is 42. Also notice one thing here. We're um, not using capitals for anything that's not a macro. Please don't do that um, because you'll, you'll have a bad day. 